Hey guys, welcome to Indian Aviation Daily with Pilot Sierra. So I hate it when this news comes in. The central government on Friday hiked jet fuel prices by a little over 14%. The third straight monthly hike data showed aviation turbine fuel prices were hiked by 8.5% in August and 1.65% in July. Due to that, the rates had been cut on four occasions. ATF prices in Delhi were hiked to rupees 1,12,419.33 per kiloliter for domestic airlines from rupees 98,508.26 a month ago. International airlines ATF prices stood at 1,031.29 dollars per kiloliter from 902.62 per kiloliter. Mumbai also witnessed a similar hike as prices stood at rupees 1,5,222.13 per kiloliter for domestic airlines up from rupees 92,124.13 a month ago. For international airlines, ATF prices in Mumbai were revised to 1,029.21 dollars per kiloliter from 900.73 dollars in august atf prices for domestic airlines in kolkata and chennai stood at rupees 1,21,063.83 and rupees 1,16,581.77 per kiloliter as of september 1st while for international airlines the rate stood at 1,069.46 dollars and 1,026.45 dollars respectively State owned Indian Oil Corporation, Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, and Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited revised cooking gas and ATF prices on the first of every month based on the average international price in the previous month. The average ATF prices were at Rs. 95,906 per kiloliter in the first five months of this financial year as against Rs. 121,013 per kiloliter in financial year 23 and Rs 64,715 per kiloliter in financial year 2020. According to the rating agency ICRA, the domestic aviation industry continues to face challenges despite witnessing a healthy recovery in air passenger traffic because of sequential increase in aviation turbine fuel prices and depreciation of the value of rupee against the US dollar. Indian airlines are expected to see a sharp drop in net losses to rupees 5000 to 7000 crore this fiscal as they continue to witness healthy passenger traffic growth and improvement in their revenue. Passengers have faced a steady uptick in flight prices in recent months at a time when two domestic carriers, Indigo and Air India, are set to control the bulk of one of the world's fastest growing aviation markets, while most smaller rivals struggle to stay afloat in the notoriously competitive market. Higher aviation fuel prices also pose a risk to low-cost travel. Global oil prices have climbed more than 15% in the past two months. You know what high prices of fuel mean to us as common public? It basically means high ticket charges. That's how we'll be affected. And of course, when these ticket charges and fuel prices go up, also inflation will go up. So let's wait and watch what future has in store for us. Have a nice day ahead. Happy landings. Cheers.